Today we have Kimberly Thompson. Hey Kim. Bang. We got a husband here. Hey hubby, what's your name? Sean. 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 This is her husband, Sean. How long you all been married? Two years. Two years? Oh my goodness, you all are newly Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your and your singing family. <laughs> well, I do come from a singing family of musicians and singers. Okay. Um back years ago they had gospel groups and you know, they were they were a part of the quartet, the beginning of the quartet era, traveling back and forth through Washington, D.C. Um, they were named the gospel, um, they had a gospel chorus. And then they, my grandparents actually were founders of a church called Mount Carmel, Virgo Temple of God. So those groups started out of that er that church. Mm -hmm. um, they were Eldris Emily and Thomas Monroe. Mm -hmm. um, they, were, they are deceased at at this time, mm -hmm. but I do thank God because growing up I watched my mother sing mm -hmm. and my grandmother, and they both were instrumental in me singing. And um, I actually can't remember not singing. So when people ask, um, when did you start singing? I usually just say, I don't remember when I started. Mm -hmm. It's just something that has always been, been in, in my heart, and mm -hmm. then I've been around. So you never did R&B? Never. Mm -hmm. I just had. I've been. I was um, currently working with Fifty Grand Entertainment. Um, What's the name of the entertainment company? Fifty Grand Entertainment. Okay. I was working with them for a little while, um, working on some projects that they had. Mm -hmm. So I do have some music to share. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That you're about this, to release, that you're going to was, release. Yes, this song was written by um, Dr. Harrison. He's one of the um, pastors that's affiliated with Breakthrough Bible College. Mm -hmm. um, and he asked me to re-record some of his music. Mm -hmm. And so that is one of the songs that we will be playing today. Well, Kim, we have really got to get you a CD out there because you have a great voice. Yes, ma'am. Great. Your husband is sitting over here beaming, got a nice little smile on his face, and the kids are running all around in the studio being children. So if you hear something going, ah, I mean, that's the babies. <laughs> that's all, okay? I actually can sing spirituals, choral pieces um, with my background, but I love to do praise and worship and traditional gospel as well as contemporary. Amen, amen. Praise and worship, yeah. I, when I feel his presence, I sing, and you know, through that, he, the presence, you feel the anointing, and God takes control, and I, I like to feel that God, I'm ushered in the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and then God allows me to be used by him, mm -hmm. and I just believe that singing is a ministry for me. It is. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a hobby. It's something that I love that to you do. Love to I've do. always mm -hmm. done, but it's a ministry, and, mm -hmm. I, and I want to share what God has given me with others. I also believe too that it's hard to find a label that sees eye to eye with you and the vision That's that God true. has given you right. for your ministry. Um, Precious Lord, to thee I'm pleading, asking for help for the sick and suffering people on the street. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Wow, that often, when you first heard it, how did you respond to that? You cried, didn't you? Almost. Almost. Because it's, it's that type of song that makes you, you know, it just, just make you want to cry. And, but I have done a lot of nursing home ministry, and I, and I think that is, you know, a great ministry that people it is. Lord, I hear mm, mm, mm. of of blessings thou art scattering for 
church y'all in here I tell you huh? but um Bishop so you you've known Kimberly since she was a little girl yes so how did you nurture her along what, what was your role in nurturing her along well her grandmother and her grandfather we were anointed vessels of God and to our fellowship we uh, met Sister Kimberly, and at a young age, and of course, uh, the roots have to come from somewhere, or well, the fruit don't fall far from the tree. Right. And her grandmother and her grandfather were both anointed vessels of God. Baby said, hey. 